Okay guys, I just carved this piece today out of cottonwood bark with 15 wood spirits. This is the piece I'm giving away. So throughout this video, you're going to find out how to enter to win this piece. And um, I'll, I'll throw along another wood spirit along with a smaller one with this too. Maybe not such detail, but I'll still, there'll be two prizes from me. We'll be doing a live giveaway on Just Carve uh, Rob's 500 subscriber giveaway. But you got to watch this video to find out how to be entered. Some Somewhere throughout the video, I'll talk about it. And also, Eddie from NorCal Succulents, I'll leave a uh, description. His video will be popping up right after I'm done talking here. And he's going to donate some succulents and a succulent plant holder that he's carved out to the 15,000 subscriber giveaway. Hope everybody's good. Thanks for all the support. I couldn't, uh, things are going great and I hope you're all being safe. Don't forget to watch this video to find out how to be entered to win this. 15 wood spirit wall hanger. Peace. What's up, Jordy? Congratulations on 15,000 subscribers. It's Eddie from NorCal Succulent Shop and my wife Carrie from succulentandblooms.com. We are going to donate a driftwood succulent planter. Um, free shipping anywhere in the United States. Don't forget to watch my YouTube videos for a discount code off your next order of succulents so you can make your own driftwood planter or go over to succulentsandblooms.com and you could order one for yourself good luck everyone okay 15,000 subs who would have ever thunk Jordy at Carving Fusion with all his ramble talk and gibberish carving styles and stuff would have 15,000 subs well I do it's because of you guys and thank you thank you very much I uh, cherish every single one of them and I do my best to to uh, communicate with all you guys and if you guys have questions. So we have this big old piece of cottonwood bark here. Okay, it is, I'm gonna measure from the back. It's five inches wide at some largest points. Let's see, largest points four and a half. It is 30 inches long and it is two and a half inches thick. So what I'm going to be carving on this today for the giveaway, dun, 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 for the giveaway is, well, it's 15,000 subs. So why don't I try to push myself like I try and tell all you beginning wood carvers is to push yourself or pro carvers is to push yourself to get better. So I'm going to be putting 15 wood spirits on this piece. Well, I'm going to try and I'm going to blend them all in with wind and all that stuff. So I guess I better just stop talking. And start carving because I know I can talk too much on this I don't really talk too much in real life but on these videos I can seem to talk too much and say some real stupid stuff so this is for the beginning wood carvers this channel or the pro wood carvers who cares if you want to hate go ahead and hate who cares it's about wood carving or actually I should say carving I'm gonna clean it all up with this Merlin tool I love this guys Okay, so I'm going to go around, blast up lots of this edges here. Because this stuff on this bark, this piece of cottonwood bark, is a lot tougher than the bark inside. And that way I can see where the cracks are and stuff like that to give me fair warning where to put my carvings. Okay, so let me get on that. Okay, so I got this big sucker all cleaned up. Okay. So what I'm going to do is draw my faces on. I'm not going to draw all 15 faces on because I don't know if I'm going to be able to reach 15. But I'm going to try my best. Some of these faces are going to be sideways, like this way, that way. There's going to be all like wind and hair and stuff mixed in between. And guys, once again, I got a brand new cut saw. Extreme flame burr on this bit. This is my go-to burrs. Follow the link, link below that says cut saw. And use code CFUSION to save yourself 5%. Okay, so this is the Cutsaw Extreme Flame Burr, and I'll be using all sorts of different Cutsaw Burrs on this stuff too, like this Tabor Burr, less aggressive. Okay, so let me, uh, this isn't going to be a tutorial video, people, but let's uh, start up here. I'm going to start here and work up first. This is the worst part of the, it's like, because I'll have this back piece hanging off towards me, so I'll do the worst part, part first. 
but let's just draw on a first quick face here always center line guys so one two always watch your nose when you first draw your nose pieces on guys leave a bigger space here don't make it just like a triangle like this because your nose bridge will be too thin so anyways i'll get this drawn on and uh well i guess start carving this is going to be four or five hour carving for me guys maybe even longer okay so i'll get at it Jordy, how you been? I haven't seen you in a long time. Oh, I'm doing pretty good, Grumpy Jesse. Where you been? I haven't, don't think I've seen you in a few weeks. Ah, you know, once again, just living the life. Living la vida loca, Jordy. Alcohol, chicks, and whatever. Just I come home to have some rest now because I, I started losing my mind and hallucinating, just doing too much, well, weird stuff. Anyways, so... Things have changed around here a bit. I like that sign <laughs> and the big baby up there and the karma thing and you got you and Jordy still there. But what's this piece you're working on here? All those wood spirits. What the hell's up with that? Don't worry, Grumpy Jesse. I'm giving them all. I'm giving this piece away for my 15,000 subscribers uh, video. You're at 15,000 subscribers. Oh my. <laughs> Who is crazy enough to be subscribed to you, Jordy? Shut up, Grumpy Jesse. No. Oh. <laughs> I know you make these videos to try and help people, but some of the things you say just like, well, you know, <laughs> way out of line. Grumpy Jesse, why don't you just be quiet? Things you say are way out of line, too. So this uh, this uh, carving, I want to give a shout out to a good friend of mine, um, and he lives in the same city as I do uh, British Columbia Canada Phil Grope he lives in uh, Langley there I've met him in person he gave me that uh, Oscar the Grouch carving for my uh, monster challenge thing but you know this when you're doing a carving like this shows how you really got to open your uh, imagination you know like you got to think of all the lines and stuff like that well I'm glad you're giving it away anyways I'm, I'm tired of talking to those spirits that's why I've stayed away for a couple weeks because they just kind of drive me too crazy. But anyways, thanks, Phil, for uh, helping me open my mind and challenging new things. I know I keep doing repetitive wood spirits, but that's my thing, man. And you know that. You know, I just love doing them, and I'm happy doing them. Okay, so Grumpy Jesse, i got to get back to carving here. So why don't you just go have your three-day nap and then go away for again two weeks? You know what I mean? Ah, Jordy, why don't you just shut up? Is there any wood spirits downstairs? Because I'm going to go watch TV and uh, pass out on the couch. No, don't pass out on the couch. Pass out in your bedroom. I don't want to see you. Oh, another thing too, Jordy. Why does it stink like sweaty socks in here? Like moldy something. Well, it's because I carved that piece of, uh, what's that, uh, petrified wood. You oh, you did? How old is it? It's like, I don't know, 25 to 50 million years old. And well, it stinks. Yeah, I know. And I got to deal with the smell for a couple days till it burns away. Wow, well, I got to I gotta go see it. Are you keeping it inside? Nah, I don't like the way it turned out. It was too too challenging and it was, things were breaking off and stuff like that. And uh, I'm just going to put it out at the garden till somebody w comes along, a family member or something, I can give it to them. Well, that's a good idea. Okay, so, anyways, Grumpy Jesse, I got I to gotta show these people, these wood spirits here and talk more about this carving this video gets too long okay well i hope everybody's doing good and uh staying away from that virus and self-isolating and cooking lots of hamburgers and oh yeah grumpy jesse i bought a little barbecue to cook hamburgers oh, well then maybe i just might not leave for till the burgers run out because we love hamburgers here at carving fusion don't we oh that grumpy jesse what a character wait till he meets fatso <laughs> i'm sure those two will hit it off Anyways, guys, so this is what I this is what I call this is not to say look what I can do, look what I can do. This is about uh, I'd say an hour of me carving this cottonwood bark, super soft, guys. So this is what I call blocking off. Everything's blocked out, okay? So this is a bit less than half of the piece. So one, okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, 
seven. I like these two guys up here. So when you do a carving like this, this is when you really got to open your imagination and think about S lines and everything connecting. Okay, so I draw, I drew each wood spirit on one by one. Well, I drew these two top together, two two wood spirits because I knew their eyes were going to end up connecting. See one, one eye there for this guy and this guy, right? So I do these two together. So now I still got to do lots of detailing, guys. So I don't know if I want to do the detailing right now for this half. Then I don't have to come back and do it when I'm finished this half. But so, oh, don't even, now I'm confusing myself what I want to do. But anyways, I'm going to carve a bigger wood spirit here and try and give it the realistic eyes. And you guys, another thing too, like, if, like, for the real beginning carver of the wood spirits, if, you're, if your eyes make your wood spirit look funny and you're struggling with them, just carve them out, guys. You don't have to have eyes in your wood spirits. You guys will see how cool all these look without eyes they don't have to have the eyes because if you're making funny looking eyes you're better not to have eyes and they'll look a lot better you'll have a better chance at selling them without the funny looking eyes you know like they look weird who knows i'm not best at eyes this one might these eyes might look funny when i do it in this bigger one and if they look funny i'm just going to carve them hollow on a 45 degree not straight up and down not like this because your eyebrow will be too thin but on a 45 okay so anyways, I'm going to keep get carving. This is going to be a wood spirit here. So we've got seven. This will be eight. And then if my mask good, then i got to do seven more all down here. Okay. So I think we're off to a pretty good start. Always make these two lines the same here and the same pitch, the same width in between here and the same pitch, okay? Let's try and give this guy some cooler eyes. And try and make your mustache both the same size too, guys. It's not per this isn't perfect, but you catch my drift, right? Always have a sorry, guys. I didn't put my center line on there. That's why nothing worked out perfect. Okay, so I'll carve this guy in and all the other little wood spirits down here. I'll just say quickly, like I say in my other videos, sorry. It's good to have two pens, one for your template and then one for your final cuts, right? The black's my final cuts. Okay guys, so to be entered to win this, uh, the prizes in this giveaway for this uh, wood spirit thing and the succulent holder, you have to leave your name in the comments and where you're from. And uh, also you have to be on the live feed to win my two, the two pieces that I'm giving away or three or four pieces, whatever it is. You have to be on the live feed and the live feed will be two weeks, the second Thursday after this video is released. The second Thursday after this video is released, you have to be in the live feed. I do live feeds every Thursday, 5 o'clock Pacific time. 5 o'clock Pacific time. 5 o'clock p.m. I should say. So, good luck everybody.
Okay, here we go. Barely got 15 in, but I did it. I'm going to put the uh, camera in the overhead mount, and I'll show you guys. We'll count them out. Okay, here we go. So I'm going to count off by counting the noses. Okay. One, two. Okay. One, two. Three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. There's fifteen in here, guys. Trust me, I counted it. Let's count again. No, that's it. There's fifteen in here. So what I gotta do now is carve this guy's eyes in. The only one I really struggled with is this one down here because that bug hole kept on going down. But that's the only one I really struggle with. I gotta. Okay, so I'm gonna carve his eyes in with my Ram Power micro motor. And then I'm gonna sound the whole thing. No, and then I'm gonna hit it. Oh, God, stop. Just stop talking, Jordy. You start curving. Okay, so I got all the, the mouth shaped with a, a flame diamond burr. I got his eyes carved in. I gave this guy some pupils to go along with some of the bug holes. So the bug holes kind of blend in a bit better. Now I'm going to run around and cut the beard hairs in with this burr here. You can get sets of 10 on my um, sets of 10 on my Amazon link for like uh, 20 bucks. This is an aluminum cutting burr, guys, not metal working burrs. So I'm going to run this all on edge to do all the hairs. Oh boy. Oh boy, then we'll sand it, then we'll dye it, then we'll uh, min wax poly shade it. Oh boy. Okay, so I got it all sanded with this little flap sander. If you guys want to learn how to make this little flap sander, go to my playlist. You'll see how do I make these ones with emery cloth. So what I'm going to do now, it's all sanded. I'm going to, don't sand too much people, you'll sand your detail away on the real soft wood. I'm gonna, I got some uh, dollar store paint here. I'm gonna paint inside the mouth, the nostrils, not this guy, but the pupils, yes. The mouth, the nostrils, and the eyes, black. And then I'm gonna go along and I got some water-based wood, uh, okay, water-based, okay, powder water-based blue stain from a company called Lee Valley in Canada. If you go to their website, they ship worldwide. This is very faint, guys. So I'm gonna paint the everything in there black, then I'm gonna put the, the wood dye on it, I'm gonna let it dry, and then I'm gonna poly shade it, okay? So let's just see here. Carbic Fusion paint trays for sale, guys. Always message me if you wanna buy one, $20 billion. So I just paint in the eyes quickly, nothing special. It's an old mystical wood spirit, guys. This kind of the sloppier put it in. This just advance advances when I put the poly shade on. It makes these eyes and everything, the darker spots, look darker. So you see here, I'm just slapping it in. Doesn't really matter. You're not building the spaceship. You're building the wood spirit, guys. I still like making the wood spirits without eyes. I still like the way they look, and I think I always will. So you see how fast I'm just doing this? Just to give it a little bit of it. Oops. That's okay. It will all sound off. Just to give it a little bit of a head start, making it look dark when you when you put your um, poly shade on. That's what this does. But if you're using oil, I suggest you don't try and make these use black to make them look dark. I suggest maybe brown or something. It just gives it a little. Advanced. Okay, so I'm going to get this done and I'll film on blue stain again, okay? Okay, so we got everything. It looks funny right now, right? We got all the eyes done in there. 
Okay, now we just get the blue dye. And guys, cottonwood bark is not as porous as wood, meaning it has a harder, way harder time absorbing the dye, as you can see right there. Like, look, it's just, it just kind of bounces off of it. You know, it's not really sucking into it. As me and Pete, uh, well, Pete realized that when he tried uh, using some of the epoxy, putting it in his cactus juice stuff. So anyways, I'll get most of this, some of it. I'm not going to do all the blue dye. I'll just do a little bit on certain areas. Just to give it different colors, guys. And then you have to let this dye, this this dye dry or blow, keep dry it off with a blow dryer. Because, or a heat gun, because the poly shade is, I read, it's oil based. Okay, so I'll get this done. And I'll show you if I kind of need uh, oil basing it with uh, not oil poly shading it, guys. Okay, guys. So you can see that really didn't leave a much of a blue color compared to all my other carvings. So this isn't wood, guys. It's bark. So like I said, it's, it's all different. Some of the wood goes way more blue. Some goes less blue. This is kind of just turned like a gray color. But this is and you guys, I forgot to say, if you want to learn how to carve a wood spirit like this or like this, any type. Just go to my playlist and you can see a step-by-step -step, uh, tutorial of that. So here's my uh, paint mixer. This is worth a lot of money. This this thing is like an antique now. Paint mixer uh, and a bunch of other stuff too. So this is the uh, Bombay Mahogany. See guys, this blue can, this grayish blue can is a gloss stuff. The brown stuff, the cans, the colored cans is uh, like matte or semi gloss but it, i like this because it's not too glossy because i don't really like my carvings to be glossy kind of some of them are not bad but okay so let's just start slapping this stuff on okay so what i do i'll wipe it on a certain area here so i put it on and i don't want it to set too much in this wood but then again so it's not really gonna go too much into this wood because like i said before it's not that porous I think that's the proper word. I don't know, guys. I quit school before kindergarten, so my English not too good. Okay, so let's uh, let me just show you that for example here. Just wipe that off. So there you go, kind of. So I'm gonna get done this whole thing with this, and then I'll show you. I use my little flap sander thing again, and I sand the high points. Okay, so I'll get this done. Okay, you guys can still see how wet it is. What I do to fill in these eyes, I plunge that foam thing in there, like get it in there good. So you got lots of extra stuff sitting inside those. So I, I spin it upside down and do your backs to you guys if you want to try and sell your piece. It just, look, just looks more appealing, right, to a buyer. So I just leave it sitting like this upside down for a couple minutes and all the stuff will drain out of the uh, eyes. But just to show you how wet I do this, because this... See, this is already kind of worn away. This is 180 grit, so it's super soft, right? So now I can use this, and sooner or later, this stuff will, like, here, watch. This is one damp one. I'll just put this on here right now already, okay? Sorry, guys, I'm kind of getting rushed. But now this acts kind of like a smudger. So it's going to lighten up the high points. Watch, watch this. And run it really slow, guys. See? I'm not running it that slow, but you guys should run it slow. But you can see the high points now, right? See that? So I'm going to finish this and I'll be back, okay? Okay, guys, here it is all done. I just want to thank you all for the support on this channel. And, you know, I say in my videos, I support you guys more than you support me. It's true, guys. I do. I love carving the wood spirits. I think at this point I can carve whatever I want, but this is my favorite stuff to carve. And I think it's fair that since it's my favorite stuff to carve, one of my loyal subscribers gets to win this great piece. I think it's great anyways. Only my personal opinion. 
Thanks guys. Good luck. And we'll see you two weeks from this uh, video. Hopefully two weeks. I'll make a video saying when the live feed's going to be anyways or something. I don't know. I'll figure it out.